Hey guys, here Marta Geek. In this video, I want to show you guys how to record your screen with your Galaxy Note 4 now that you have the latest update. Keep in mind, this is going to work with any device that has 5.0 and above. Um, that's one perk. That's an awesome perk that 5.0 brings is the ability to record your screen with uh, a couple apps from the Play Store without rooting your phone. Before 5.0, you would have to root your phone to um, record your screen but now since it's uh, 5.0 and above you could do use a couple apps like for example there's this app right here which is rec it's called rec uh, this app lets you record at 720p 20, uh, um, 1080p if I'm not mistaken as well you could change it there if you want uh, bitrate you can also change uh, five minutes or below this is the free version um, here you can record audio as well and you can name the, na the name of the file um, you can buy this and when you buy this, you get longer recording duration. So that means more than five minutes audio recording via mic, which is kind of weird because the other app that I'm going to show you guys actually records audio recording via mic for free. Uh, presets, shake, stop, shake to start recording, auto show, blah, 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 all that features. Uh, now the other app that I want to show you guys is the Ace AZ screen record. Uh, this is a very awesome app. I really like it. This so far, this is my favorite one. When you open it up, this is how it looks that's it that's that's how it looks so if you click here it exits the app you open it again click there and it opens up the um, the direct uh, directory where the, all the videos that you have recorded are are at so if you tap on one of them for example let's go ahead and choose that video that I record there um, like you see here uh, right there it that's a recording of the screen of my phone and like you see, you can hear the microphone. See? <laughs> you can hear me uh, mumbling or whatever on, on there. And the audio of the game that's recording is from the microphone. Because keep in mind, uh, none of these record recording apps records the audio of the game. The in-game audio of the game, which is uh, it's truly sucks, but... Um, I think that's coming up later on in the future uh, this app what I like is that you have uh, if you want to get the pro version it gives you a magic button uh, show overlay front camera front camera so that means you can record a video and the front camera will also record your face right here in a pop-up or something like that that's very cool countdown before start draw on screen that's another cool feature you can record and as you're recording you could draw on the screen and it'll come out on the recording that's uh, awesome um, time recording uh, trim recorded videos you don't really need that because you could do it with another app if you want convert um, videos to gif and show text on uh, and logo that's cool and it only costs three dollars which is awesome I'm, I'm i'm pretty sure i'm gonna buy this app um here the resolution is a lot more easier to change the resolution. You got 10, 1920 by 1080p, 7, 10, uh, 1280 by 720p, and you got others as well. Let's go ahead and put the 1080p. Bit rate, you could change that. Audio, uh, orientation, auto, landscape, or portrait. I just leave it like that, auto. Uh, enable recording via microphone. So like you see here, this feature is totally free. You can use that and you can record and re and talk at the same time if you want text and logo that's totally free uh, this other feature right here uh, touch show visual feedback for touches I recommend having that on because if you're doing like a video tutorial it would be nice for everybody who's watching the video see where are you t uh, or where are you touching at so if you enable this like you see here you can see my you see my touches around the screen so i recommend leaving that enabled leave that enabled there that way when you're recording people can see where you're touching at uh front camera that right there is going to tell you you need to buy the pro version and timer you right, right there you would also have to um wait for for the pro package as well uh, direct the you could change the location of the videos where they're gonna be recorded by default this is where they're gonna be recorded I already tried recording it on the external SD but I don't know why it wouldn't let me uh, kind of weird so I recommend just leaving it there 
and um, start recording. So let me go and show you guys how it records right here. Uh, another thing I want to show you guys is that when you're recording right here, uh, it has show red blinking dot. That's a red blinking dot that appears here. When you tap on it, you can pause it. When you tap on it again, it resumes the recording. And when you double tap, it finishes the recording. That's very cool. The only problem is that when you're recording, that little red dot is going to be appearing on the recording as well. So keep that in mind. So right now, I'm just going to go ahead and, and leave it off. And there's other features you could do here as well. Uh, so right here, let's go ahead and try the recording here. Right now, it's going to start recording. So right now, it's recording. You can see over here that's recording. And it should be also recording my my voice talking as I'm doing this video. And like you see here, I could swipe up and down anywhere on the screen. And like you see right here, you can see the tap my feet on my, my fingers. You see there? My touch. Thing, uh, finger appearing all over the screen and that is recommended I recommend leaving that there as well because that way people can see where you're touching at um, tap right here you can see there I'm just opening all everything that I can so I could show you guys the recording uh, let's go ahead and open a game here in uh, Looney Tunes here now, like I said, the the video recording is not gonna record the in-game audio of the the games. It's only gonna be muted if you disable the audio recording feature. Uh, so when you choose to record using the mic, it's actually recording the audio of the game via the microphone. It's not doing it via the end game and it's also recording your voice at the same time which is cool but the audio of the game is not gonna sound perfect at all it's not gonna sound perfect because you're not using you're using a mic to record the audio so keep that in mind so right here I'm playing this game right there there and let's go ahead and, and finish here just gonna let him die there uh, keep in mind you can record as much as you can it doesn't really matter but, um, I thought he was gonna die there. He should have died. That duck has quacked down the wrong rabbit hole. <laughs> Let me go ahead and use this. There you go. <laughs> That's cool. Let's go ahead and finish this. Let's go ahead and click there. Right there. And of course, if you want to record a, a another video that's landscape. The, the recording will automatically change. Uh, this is a game that I was playing already. I'm trying it out. And like you see here. Wow, I can't believe this game was running in the background. And I actually tried this game yesterday. Okay, it's lagging a little bit. Um, one thing that I recommend is if you're recording like this, um, there's nothing wrong with recording at 720p, guys. Um, 720p still looks HD, and it, when you're doing a hands-on look of an app or something like that, there's no need for it to be like 1080p, so I wouldn't, wouldn't mind, and believe me, guys, it's still going to look good at 720p. So if your phone does not have all the power to run 1080p, if it's lagging, uh, don't you know? Don't shy from going to 720p, because 720p is still gonna look good, and it's also gonna run the video a lot better. So now let's go ahead and finish the recording. There, we are done with the recording. I uh, could go ahead here, stop, right there. Like you see, you got the controls right there on the screen. And on the notification right here, I could tap on it, delete the video, trim the video, or share. Remember, trim, you would have to have the pro version. Um, it disappears there. That's very cool. That's a cool feature from Lollipop. Um, here we could go to the, direct, the directory. Tap right there on the recording that we just did. Let's go and choose that. Let's go ahead and see the recording. Okay, so right here, it says, remember, the video was recording in portrait, so it looks like that. Wait, I think it didn't record my microphone. No, I think we had the microphone off. Yep, I think we had the microphone off, so it didn't record the audio of me talking and all that. So like you see there, it's only gonna record 
just the visual of the screen. That's it. And if we go to a game, let's go ahead and go forward. There, it only records the visual of the game. That is it. Well, like you can see, it, it looks perfectly good. It looks perfectly good. Uh, let's go ahead here to the other game, the zombie game. Look at that. Well, that didn't look good there. But it looks good there. That's cool. So, um, I've noticed that if you want to force the video to record like this, you would have to put on the settings a landscape mode. And it would record the landscape mode a lot better. So, let's go ahead and get out of here. Let's go get it out of there. And now, let's go ahead and show you guys with the audio. So, there. Audio. Enable recording the audio. That's it. And let's go ahead and try again. And, ah, oh, another thing. Let's go ahead and show you guys the orientation landscape that way we could get the zombie game uh, looking completely good on uh, landscape we're gonna force it to landscape and enable audio so now let's go ahead and get out of here and let's go ahead and open there and whoop there you did let's go ahead and record okay start recording okay uh, let's go ahead and back to the game again to the zombie game uh, let's go ahead and get out of here so now it should be recording my audio of the of the game because it's using the mic and it should be recording my voice because it's using the mic. You see there? And since we chose to force the image in landscape, it should also look like this full screen. record a little bit more a little bit lagging there uh, that's another thing too that when you're recording at 1080p it could lag the gameplay as well because of course you're forcing the you're recording the game in you're playing the game so that demands a lot of power so it could lag the game as well so right now let's go ahead and finish let's go ahead and finish here a little bit more get these zombies out of here Damn, I had a lot of nitro here. Okay, let's go ahead and finish the video. We're going click. And don't worry with, um, you know, the, because you could trim the video. So if there's something that's recorded that you don't like, you could, let's go ahead and exit there. Boom, it's recorded. Let's go ahead here. Now let's go ahead and play the video there. Keep in mind, you can use any player. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and back to the game again. Look at that. To the zombie game. Get out of here. So now it should be recording my audio of the, of the game. Look at that. It looks perfectly it good. Wide screen completely. The, the landscape the way that we want it. Uh, one thing to keep in mind is that it's also going to be recording. And since we chose to force. Okay. Okay. <laughs> one thing to keep in mind is that if you're rubbing your finger on the mic, that's also going to come out on the video. So be aware where the mic is at. That way you don't be rubbing on the mic because that's going to sound very, very annoying. And like you see there, it, it works perfectly good. It looks perfectly good. And it's, of course, the video might lag because it was recording at 1080p. And it demands a lot of power. You're playing a game and recording a game at the same time and recording your voice. That's three things that's doing right there. So if you have a device with less power, it might it might be better to record at 720p so now that we're done there we're done like you see there the video recorded the audio recorded okay because the microphone is here and if you have the volume of the game hard enough it's going to record it okay but it's not going to be perfect and that's it so right here we can either we can either send it to youtube if you want to send it on YouTube and remember that the YouTube app, you can also trim the videos right here. You can trim the videos uh, right now. It's not doing it for me right now because I think I have this app on. OK, let's go ahead and exit right there. Let's go ahead and exit everything here. Um, let's go to YouTube. You can either choose the send it to YouTube using the app or you could go ahead here on the YouTube app 
I'm on Wi-Fi. You can choose here. And uh, here are the videos that you have recorded already. So you can tap right there. And you can see the video right there. And I don't know why, but it's not it's not letting me trim the video. It should let you trim the video. It should let you trim the video. Let me go ahead and choose another video to see. Nope. Nope. No, nope, that was... Yeah. Forget about it. Uh, you can either do it like that to trim the video using the YouTube app. Or you can use an app like KineMaster. This is a video editing app. I already have a video um, with a hands-on um, review of this app, which is an awesome app for uh, video editing and all that. And from here, you can also add the voice. If you want, you can you record the voice. Or you can also add... Um, you can also add... Um, um, trimming you could trim the videos here's the videos that we record right there go and click right there and you can also add more clips so if you recorded a whole bunch of clips of the apps or of the video you can also go here and pick other videos like you see there other videos and start recording and start editing the video so I'm gonna leave a link of this app on my description that way you guys can see how it's used you could add uh, special effects you can add a recording over voice over recording if you choose not to record the voice when you're using the app if you choose not to record it you can still record voice over using this app or any other video video editing app but this app is very very good uh, kind master I'm gonna leave a link in the descriptions there uh, show you showing you guys how to do it. I already did a tutorial how to do that or you could go ahead and use one of these OTG cable adapters uh, Use here. Let's go and click it connect it here to USB. Did it connect? Let's see It should connect I don't know if it's working this OTG adapter and here Yes, it is. It is connected there. So right here, for example, I could go ahead into the device storage, look for the AZ folder. Uh, look at the recordings right here. I could go ahead and select these three, and I could go ahead and uh, move or copy. I'm gonna go ahead and choose move, a USB storage, and move here. And that's it. So once you have it here. Once you have it here on your USB drive, uh, you could go ahead and use your favorite editing, video editing app on your computer. For example, I use iMovie. If you use Adobe Premiere or anything else on Windows, you can use that as well. Just moving your uh, videos, to, videos to the USB um, drive using the OTG adapter. And that's it, look at that. The videos are now in my USB drive. And that is it. So like I said, the video, this for me, the favorite app that I like is the Ace AZ screen recording. It looks awesome. It looks very, very simple here. And um, it, it has a couple features that are free that are very good. And um, like I said, if you have problems with the your cell phone not being too, too much powerful, if you want it, the video to run perfectly good remember the audio and the game running at the same time and recording that's going to take that drains a lot of power of your phone and then remember this is just the phone this is not a computer but if you use it appropriately uh enough power right there you know 720p is still hd um it's going to be recording a lot more better and if you want to force the landscape remember just put the force landscape because for me i've noticed that force landscape works a lot more better if you're gonna do a portrait you could leave either leave in auto or just force the portrait and recording the um microphone you could click right there and it will also record the audio of your game but it's not going to be perfect but keep that in mind but that's it guys just wanted to show you guys how to record now that we have 5.0 on a lot of devices now especially the galaxy note 4 no galaxy note 4 and the galaxy s5 and all the other 5.0 devices that are getting this um this update like um i think the htc m8 and uh, a lot of other phones as well so guys thanks for watching the video just want to share with you guys this little tutorial how to record on your device with 5.0 and above
Thanks for watching, guys. Till next time.